Welcome everybody to another Command & Conquer 3 commentary video. Today we're going to be going back to the For the Brotherhood 4 tournament and we're going to be looking at this replay over here. This is game 4 out of the 8 games that I have and today's contestants are going to be in the bottom left position is going to be Blue Starly as a red GDI. Top left position is going to be Thanatos as a purple knot. Yellow nod on the top right is going to be training and bottom right is Claymore as a pink GDI. So this is going to be a very interesting match, I believe. Very actually going to be quite action-packed as well, since we've got GDI boat on the bottom and Nod on the top. So this is going to be a quite e fair fighting um, match, I believe. Um, and the, all these players are rather of similar skill, if I'm correct. So this is definitely going to be very exciting, and I'm definitely looking forward to this. As we see, we've got a lot, a lot of players moving into the middle over here, but really it's Thanatos that is holding it. Oh, nice shot going for the shadows from training over there. Bloom now making his way to get a War Factory, getting some harvesters out. Um, <laughs> Thanatos just doing that as well, um, and I'm sure their foes would also be doing the same. Oh, APC comes out, so Claymore will probably be going for maybe scouting, possibly an, uh, an engineer inside. We will see how this... Oh, yep, there's the engineer. I just saw it pop out the building there. That's going to go straight to the middle over there, so that could be capturing one of the towers, and that could be a very good move for Claymore over there. Uh, red flag goes off for blue, and uh, knowing that he's uh, hit, there's an APC over there, and then he goes uh, exactly the same. Is it? Yes, it is exactly the same strategy coming from blue over there. <laughs> the engineer just getting absolutely obliterated, and the APC does so as well. Nice try though, almost capturing the refinery. That would have been a quite a big shock for Claymore, but he just nimbly caught it. Dalantos nicely circling around the map with the attack bikes. I'm not sure if it came through the middle or around the corner, but he certainly came through with there. Got the harvester to just over un or under half health. Um, nimbly Claymore snatches a, uh, a tower, so that's going to be very, very good. Nice micro coming from him, eliminating that foxhole and probably some of the infantry units in there as well. Um, attack bikes, they're doing well for themselves. They're uh, being speedy as always, and more harvesters getting created by Thanatos. Um, at the moment, Blue is just, again, going for an APC. That is probably gone. Yep, an engineer inside again. Is he going to be capturing anything inside of Claymore's base? He might be. He's going straight for Claymore again. But then again, since his first att attempt failed, he might not be successful this time. Well, then again, I might actually be wrong here. I might actually be quite wrong. The engineer gets there. He's just about to capture it. Ooh, Claymore just sells it at the last second. Wow, that is incredible. I didn't actually think he'd be getting that close, but there we go. Nice few uh, little skirmishes battle, and we see that training is actually pushing forward with his scorpion tanks straight towards Thanatos and his harvesters. Only one scorpion tank preventing that from happening, and that's that's just been destroyed, so he has not got any protection from this uh, giant force over here, it seems. Um, and rather quick on the ball as well. Two harvesters already destroyed, a lot of massacre happening. That's not even English. Please ignore that previous statement. About Scorpion Tank comes out of that war factory right on the edge of the Tiberium field. Um, but there's just not enough to try and repel these forces over here. Now, all these structures keep popping up and going back down again. Desperately is to try and get rid of these forces, but they're just not doing very well at all. Um, and these little bees, I'd like to call them, seeing an opportunity, they just go forth into the base. Um, and they're wreaking havoc over there. And uh, meanwhile, down the bottom, Claymore is nice and getting together a few couple of APCs with engineers. Nicely taking out one of Blue's engineers, so that obelisk about it. No, Tiberium Spike now is now claimed to Claymore um, so instead of Blue, I think, if the engineer would actually come out. Yeah, it's coming out. There we go. Um, and I've just noticed that that uh, training has actually claimed two Tiberium Spikes. It seems that he's uh, a bit grumpy today. He doesn't really want to share. <laughs> <laughs> More scorpion tanks coming from training space, going straight towards Thanatos. Shredder turret getting absolutely destroyed. Um, infantry squads moving into the front line over here, probably going for one of the buildings, I'm not sure though. Um, or they could just be providing support. And um, no, they're going behind the war factory. They're probably, yep, they'll get crushed. Which is a bit of a waste, really, but. Oh! Okay. Right. Nice sneak attack coming from. Uh, Claymore, but I'm not sure if was this a necessary a diversionary tactic, or is this going to be just something to like a, a bigger attack later on? Um, going for the harvesters is good and all, 
Uh, I'm just curious. Well, I was about to say I'm curious because he. I don't know how well he's going to be focusing on his base as well. But if we can see he's got air forces up now. So he'll be able to deal with a lot of ground forces coming at him. Apart from those zone troopers, they're just going to survive any and all rockets, which is a little bit unrealistic. But there we go. Come on, Predator tanks finishing up that one off. A lot of Scorpion tanks Thanos, Thanatos has made has, is protecting that Tiberium field. A nice big force made up there. And uh, they're going to at least equal... Oh, well, they're going to slightly be underwhelmed, overwhelmed by this uh, like training units. But they may hold out if they play their cards right and stuff. If uh, Thanatos does it correctly. And it looks like he does with uh, training units actually being forced to retreat. Moving his MCB up, that's a bit of a... Nice aggressive move over there, and he's attempting to get that tab room spike. So he's going to be going, going, yeah, going for a little bit of a rush there and trying to close this gap over here, claim as much of this land as possible, and try and uh, build inside his base. But he's not succeeding. Training is putting up a good fight for, against Thanatos with his uh, Scorpion tanks. As we can see, he's not got tier 3 because of the Dozer Blades. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, going to be quite exciting. And um, those orcas really tearing off that economy over there. One of the pit bulls do take one down, but oh, leave the harvester with Minecraft health. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was close. Uh, very, very close. One war factory is over on the front of the base, on the front line over there. I'm not sure what that's going to be training by. I believe that it could be training a juggernaut. Um, and then again, seeing as uh, Claymore's got tier 3, he may also be doing the same. You know, these are uh, similarly skilled players. Oh, nice catalyst missile going, coming down. Um, destroying two refineries and a few harvesters. Very, very good. Training is absolutely on the ball with this today. And um, destroying a lot of Thanatos' economy. I don't even know if Thanatos even has any harvesters about. Not that I can see because I just don't. Oh, there's one. So I suppose I, suppose I could consider him lucky. Seeing as... Ah, uh, no, he's got three, right? They were just uh, a little bit hard to find. Wow, I, did, I, I thought that Sonic Emitter would have survived. But nice uh, de deploying of the uh, zone troopers there. Uh, making the avatars retreat, and he probably will be training venoms now. I think, yeah, training is training. Training is training venoms. <laughs> Funny. Um, and we can see, yes, there's a juggernaut husk over there, and two juggernauts over at Claymore's side. So this has got a very intense, quite a standoff over here. Two war factories being constructed over there. They're going to be pounding that base quite soon with their long range abilities. Um, and we've got some close range units at hand as well. Destroying that predator tank nicely. And they're also going to be dealing with these zone troopers as well. Um, Host now being recaptured and everything. They're going to be trying to fight back against these forces. But ultimately, I don't think they're really they're going to be successful. They've got a lot of anti-structure uh, firepower going at them now. So I'm not sure how well they're going to be able to counter this. Oh, nice. Juggernaut just comes... Uh... Uh... Okay. That just happened. <laughs> Damn it. I was starting to really enjoy that. That was a good match, but... Why? I don't know. It might have been a connection issue, like with last game. But this is terrible if it's happening twice in a row. Jesus Christ. Well, I only wish that they could sort it out. And hopefully they'll be able to in the next cast that I do. Thank you very much for watching in the meantime, everybody. I'm sorry it was cut short. It must have been a connection issue, as I've said quite a few times, but as of, apart from that, I don't know at all what's caused it, but never you mind. We will continue some other day with another commentary video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you did like what I showed and whatever this replay could show, and I will see